Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here, and I'm back with that need for speed for y'all. Check it out, man. Just a quick update. Your boy is still riding around in the Mitsubishi Lancer, but I'm about to change that today. You guys have seen the title, so you already know what's about to come. Now, check this out. Your boy done saved up enough money. Um, I've been letting my son play my game when I'm not home, when I'm at work. So your boy got the money saved up for the best car in the game. But there is a but. I'm not going to go ahead and buy the most expensive car. I said I'm going to get the best car. And to me, the best car got to be that Aventador, man. I'm telling you, that Aventador look crazy. Now check it out. I got enough money to get both cars here. But... I am going to eeny meeny mino it real quick and just go ahead and get the Lamborghini just because I feel like I'm going to be so sporty in that bad boy. That thing look clean. I'm trying to tell you, 192000 on this ain't nothing compared to how many chicks I'm going to go ahead and grab in this game. Even though I've never seen a person walk in the streets in this game, nobody is ever about to get hit in this game. I'm just saying. But check it out, man. The purchase is in progress. I got the car. Time for me to, you know, soup it up real quick. See what I can do. See if I can put a nice little kit on it. Me, I rarely change up anything on the cars until I get enough money to do so. So what you guys will see here is just me looking at the car, trying to get a feel for the car. And I'm probably going to change the license plate as well as change the paint kit that's on it. And I'm going to go with a standard paint kit that comes in game. Not going to go with anything custom here just gonna keep things on chills now you guys already know that i've played midnight club i've played gta i've played a lot of different racing games and the funny thing is i haven't owned the crew but i did play the crew and i heard that it was a lot of customizing that in that game but that was another racing game that fell short in you know the racing game world now i'm gonna talk to you guys about this need for speed and the way i feel on about this game because a lot of people been you know just saying yo man this game's trash uh i don't even know why you playing it i don't even know why you're still picking it up i don't even know why you're not at on 2k at the park or playing my career or whatever the case may be i like need for speed man i am a fan of the franchise and i'm gonna go ahead and give you the reasons why i don't think the game's trash after i go ahead and equip this little nice little paint job real quick Don't be shy. They're just regular guys like you and me. It's so weird. They just hit me up like two minutes ago. <laughs> Damn. Real cute. Watch this. Risky devil hash coming right whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, give up. Cook put us up to it. Oh, really? <laughs> Piggy masks? What are you trying to say? Honestly, you're the designated divider of the pizza. What can I say? These are the guys I wanted you to meet. What's up, dude? Seen your moves. Killing it. True that, bro? Yeah, but if you're serious about mobbing with these dudes, we gotta get more street cred. We gotta bust up that chassis. Yep. Destroy those wheels. Bang limiter and shred those tires. Yeah! yeah. You think you're ready for that? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. All right, that girl is always trying to get me in trouble, man. I'm going to just let y'all know now. Do not trust her. She's trying to get me caught up with these dudes that I don't even want to be a part of. They out here wearing pig heads and all. These dudes is out here tripping. That's all I'm saying, man. These niggas is tripping. But uh, I want to talk to you guys about Need for Speed because uh, I was just a part of the GMG podcast with Chase Money and them. You know, we had UTX Ricky. We had uh, Abel. We had um, another dude up in there, man. And I just want to say that for whatever reason, these dudes really think that Need for Speed is ass. Like, they, like, straight up and down, they think Need for Speed is ass. And I'm just here to change their minds, man. And whoever else mind, I can change. This game is not ass. Like, I would not rate this game a F. I would not rate it a D. I would not even rate it a C. I would rate this game like a B. Like... Believe it or not, you know, to un, you know, to whatever people say about this drink, there's only a few things wrong with this game. Uh, now, from what I've seen, the critics, the, the fans, hardcore fans, whatever, they the first thing that they say is, why does this game always have to be online? Okay, granted, you know, that's what they wanted to do. I can live with that. Second thing, 
they say, oh, I can't pause the game when I want to race or, you know, somebody might call me or something like that. That right there is definitely something that needs to be addressed, but it's not a game breaker for me. The start menu is not a game breaker for me. I would love to have it, but I usually just tell my girl like, hey, babe, I got I'm racing right now. Like if she calling me and she want me to come in the room. I just be like, babe, I got like two miles left on this joint. Let me finish it. It's not a great, a crazy game breaker for me. Lastly, a lot of people talking about, you know, why do you always have to race in the, you know, dust till dawn setting where, you know, maybe sometimes it's raining and sometimes it's not raining. That right there is something that definitely needs to be updated in a patch or whatever they can do to this game. Whereas though, you know, let's race in the, in the daytime, but I feel like in last year's game or the year before in rivals there was a lot of times where like i was racing in the sunlight in the desert all the time i felt like i was in a desert setting all the time it was rare that you know it would be raining and it would be nighttime it felt like i was always in the desert daytime you know doing my thing but i will say that they it did have different parts on the map where you know some parts of the map with snow and stuff like that but most of the time wherever i raced that i wasn't racing in those areas so i always raced on a, a desert track or whatever you know just doing stuff like that but i will say man this game is not buns i like the customizing in this game you know customizing my car and look at me just take a a fatal crash right there i'm gonna go ahead and get back on my uh four wheels though i couldn't say feet because it's a car game okay never mind but this game is not ass it it, it may have flopped it, it may be a small disappointment but this game is not ass that shots at chase money and the crew this game is not ass you hear me Yo. It's all about balance. Start with the soul and the body follows, brother. Look at these cars. The mistake is to see the science only. Construction. But to change the game, you need a vision. You gotta be an artist. And like any respectable artist, we start on the inside. The engine is the heart. And only once that engine is tuned to perfection do we focus on what hooks it up to the asphalt. Travis set us up with a niche supplier. Top tier parts for that final 10%. I saw a knock I sent work a build once. It took him four hours just to fit one wide body flare. Folks came and left. An unartistic mind grows bored with perfection. But the knock I signed, every panel it was a single brush stroke. It was a masterpiece. Precisely why I'm worried he'll never come. Don't worry. He'll come. All right, you guys. This is iPod King Carter signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everybody tweet Chase and tell him Need for Speed is not ass. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace.